If you're a web developer, I can pretty much say with certainty that at least once you have tried this trick where you go to inspect element, change something on a page and try to prank your friends. But sadly, at the very moment the page is refreshed, the facade, the magic, the illusion is gone. In this video, we are going to look at one of Chrome browser's latest debugging tool, which lets you do this prank even after page refresh. In other words, you can tweak any API response in your browser and persist the value through reloads. Hey friends, welcome to this channel. My name is Shivalik and I don't have an intro today, so let's get started. This new feature is called Network Overrides and was introduced in version 117 in Chrome. So make sure you're in version 117 or up. Now let's see the tool in action. Once we are on a website we want to override, let's go to Inspector and the Networks tab. And from here, let's go to Fetch and refresh the page. This is where we'll see all the API requests which are going on. And in this example, we can see we are doing a get call to the users v2 API. Now, suppose you want to change this API's response and change this user's name to John Doe and add a new hobby. Let's see how we can mock this API response right in Chrome. Right click on the network request and go to override content. This would prompt you to select a folder in your computer where Chrome will save a text version of this API response, which you can tweak. So let's select a folder. And next, we would need to allow this prompt, which asks permission to access your file system. And now if you see, there's an overrides tab in the source panel, which actually shows a copy of the JSON response. Let's collapse this to get a little more space. And now let's start editing this. Let's change this person's name to John Doe and let's edit their hobbies and keep only one hobby which is called stargazing. Oh, I think it's one word. And now we have John Doe, who is a stargazer. Now, if you quickly go to the networks tab, you can see one of our network calls, which is user v2, shows a purple sign here, which denotes that this has been overridden. And on the right, we can see the API has been modified with the mock which we provided. And now, even if you refresh your page a couple times, the API response is going to be exactly like how you defined in your mock. I found this feature extremely awesome because it gives me the ability to implement the entire front end exactly how it's supposed to be when the data is ready. So what do you think about this feature and do you see yourself using it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm certain you're gonna love this one over here. In this video, we learn about a network debugging tool called Proxyman and we learn network debugging hacks which almost feels illegal to know. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.